It's Christmas Day and Nigerians are joining the rest of the world to celebrate. Joining us for more on this discussion is the Reverend James Weir. He's Executive Director, Interfaith Mediation Center. He joins us from Kaduna. Thank you for joining us, Reverend Weir. And uh, Merry Christmas to you and uh, yours. Uh, well, this, this day is quite significant, quite important. But then help us to understand what the significance really is for those who are celebrating today. Uh, Merry Christmas to all the viewers and listeners all over the world that are on to this great television station. Um, from this side, um, the significance of Christmas um, is uh, a day where mankind was given a generous gift and an everlasting gift. When man fell in the Garden of Eden, it became imperative to redeem man. And God, through Christ, sent peace to the world. And the significance of this day, uh, going by the challenges that we're all having, even with the news, uh, we have listened to about killings here, uh, killings internationally, killings all over the world. The message of Christmas is very, very imperative and very relevant today as Christ the Prince of Peace came into the world. Uh, Christmas is for all Christians and non-Christian alike uh, to celebrate unity, uh, to break the cycle of violence. It's unfortunate that some people out there cannot celebrate. Bethlehem, the birthplace of Christ, has been touched. Uh, 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 Plateau State, where significant numbers of the people are Christians, are now passing through another Praying uh, experience of gunmen. Uh, it is time for people to shield their soul, to remember Christmas and give break to even those in captivity because Christ came that we might have peace. So without this, we cannot enjoy what Christmas is all about. I remember, uh, I do want to refer us to the Bible in Hebrew chapter 12, verse 14 and 15 that says, uh, follow peace with all men a righteousness without which no man can see the Lord. And do not allow the root of bitterness in you grow to the effects that it pollutes others and cause others to fall short of the glory of God. Mm. I think Nigerians should use this period to forgive one another, to extend the olive branch to one another, and also reach out to those who do not have anything because that is the kind of Christmas. Indeed, it's Reverend. For... Indeed. You, you have spoken about the fact that some people, unfortunately, cannot celebrate as a result of violence. And uh, you have also spoken about the need to, you know, extend the olive branch. Uh, but then it, it just does appear that there's some people who are bent on fermenting trouble. I mean, whether it's, it's a day for celebration or not, how do we achieve that much needed peace? I think um, needed peace can be achieved when uh, religious leaders are pragmatic at the very, very high level and the medium level and the low level. Let people of different faiths stand shoulder by shoulder to condemn acts that are not good. Let them shoulder by shoulder do the things that ought to be done. Seen together, I remember sometimes back in, in Kaduna before uh, the unfortunate incident that occurred in 2011. Religious leaders were seen going to hotspots, talking to people together. And I expect that to happen. The country needs to reconcile itself. North-South dialogue is imperative. Those who do not know even the civil war are fighting and asking for cessation. They don't know what war is all about. Uh, probably uh, for viewers, this is uh, my limb. I lost it in situations that has to do with what we call protecting the church in Kaduna in 1992. But I have forgiven those who have done this to me. So without forgiveness, we can't move forward. Breaking the cycle of violence, competing over who killed the most, will not save this country. It is time for the presidency, it's time at local level, let Nigeria declare a day of forgiveness and reconciliation. Then from there, let's forgive the sins of the past and chart a new course. And I'm sure the president, if he's listening, it is time for him to bring Nigerians together to seek for forgiveness. Then we can stop the cycle of violence. There is no, there is no gain in competing on who killed the most or what, whatever time. 
we need peace in Nigeria so that we can gain and enjoy the gift of the new hope. Our renewed hope is to say, don't lose hope, walk key on to what the presidency is saying. And it is very clear in the Bible, say, pray for those in authority mm. that you may have peace. So if we cost those in authority, the Lord will answer our prayers and they will be cost. And they will express the attitude of people who are cost. So for me to enjoy this Christmas, let's forgive, even, even between spouses, learn to forgive and share the gift of peace. Don't spread hate because hate begets hate and it escalates and we don't have any country to go to. Refugee situation in the country, uh, I mean displaced people in the country, refugee in all over the world, though we know Jesus Christ was a refugee at some point in Egypt, but he was hosted. And let's learn to help those people who are around us who are, cannot enjoy a meal of Christmas, take it to them, those right. are in the camp, let them feel the gift of Christ because that is what Christ will say to you at the end. I was hungry, you fed me, you was naked, you gave me clothes. When I was also a homeless, you visited me. When I was in prison, you do that. So this Absolutely, is Christmas. Reverend. Christmas is about living the life of Christ all over again. Absolutely. And thank you very much for sharing your personal story with us. And it's great to know that you, know, you have actually forgiven those who inflicted this uh, on you. Thank you very much, uh, Reverend James Wuye, Executive Director, Interfaith Mediation Center. And do have yourself a very wonderful Christmas. God bless Nigeria. Peace prevail on earth. God bless you. Thank you.